this video, we will walk through how to set up a group trip in Travify. So the first way that I wanna show you is by utilizing the tagging feature. So I have a trip opened here with events already listed. Now, what you can do with tagging is you can tag people in specific events that they're part of. So for example, if this flight is only for two people going on this trip, then I could go in to edit this event and right here where it says add notes or tag specific people, I can click on that option and start tagging those people only. Now, how I get this set up to begin with is I first just wanna click on the more button at the top here. Then I wanna choose people. And this is where I can start to add everybody who's on this trip. So you could bulk import from a spreadsheet if you'd like. So you can go ahead and upload them all at once or you can just add contacts one by one. So you can do that by putting their name in here. So I'm just gonna say Susie Smith, and you'll see here as well that the names that you have in your contacts already will auto-populate. So that way, if Susie Q is someone on this trip, then I can go ahead and select her name. And then I can also add new people as well. So I could add Stephanie Smith, and then email as well in here. And then I can just go ahead and add them to the trip. So now I can see that these two have been added to the trip. So now that they're in here, I could go into any event and begin tagging them. So I can choose Susie and then I'll say Stephanie is on this one as well. And then I can do the same for this event. Once I have these um, tagged in here, then what the great part is, is when you send this trip to all of the users at the same time, they will be able to see their personalized version of the itinerary based off of what they are tagged in. So if there is an event that doesn't have a tag, that just means everybody will see it. So automatically, we're going to show everything to everyone unless you have tagged them specifically. Now, the next layer of this is security. So if you want to make these tags private, you can do that by going into your trip settings. And in here, there is an option where it says event visibility. Now, if this is a small family trip and you don't mind having everyone see everyone's events, then you can go ahead and make it public. And that way, anybody who's tagged in here can see what other people are tagged in. But if it is private, then you can go ahead and select the private option. And that way, people will only see what they are specifically tagged in and then also what everyone else can see. So for an example of how this can work, you can preview it and see for each person. So you can see viewing as, and I'm going to choose Suzy Q here, and you're going to see that for Suzy Q that these flights do appear because I have been tagged in those. So that just shows you how that would work. So you can go ahead and check on all those different tags and make sure that everyone's seeing the same thing. The other option that you have with group trips is that you can also create a master itinerary and then just copy it for each person or each couple or family. Now to do that, all you'll want to do is just build the itinerary like you normally would and have all the information that would be included for everyone. Then what you can do is take that trip and just simply copy it. Once you copy it, the new version that's been copied from this original trip, you can go ahead and then you can customize for those specific travelers and send those travelers this trip only. So that's another option that you have as well. So if you have any questions, please do reach out to our support team. And we also do have FAQs on how to use the group tagging feature as well.